Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up, y'all? I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting on this to come for a while because I wanted to get a, quant uh, a way of quantification uh, the different cells while I put them inside a box. Instead of me just saying, hey, this is loud, this is deep, this is low. This is one way we can just measure it to answer a question how what you what y'all feel about, uh, well, some of you anyway, what does it meter? And the metering, I bought a meter from uh, uh, Sound Solutions. Finally, they finally got them back in stock. I don't know how long that's gonna last. But I got mine. Well, understand this about the media when y'all see the different media and videos from henceforth. I'm going to put in whether it's a dual setup or a single setup, whatever size subwoofer I use, and I'm going to start using 12, 12 inch subwoofers as well. 12s and 10s are going to come to the channel. But they may, they must fit a certain criteria for them to make it on my channel. It's not going to be what we know there's plenty of videos up there on, on YouTube about. It's gonna be some subs that I can offer people from different price points and different categories as well. But uh, on my channel, because I like to keep original and not just do the same thing everybody else doing. But I wanted to be able to quantify, to give y'all some measurement of, of, of relation about this sub compared to another sub. But understand when you're metering and it's in this vehicle, this is just a score of how it meters inside my vehicle. That does not mean it's gonna mirror the same inside your vehicle. Your application might be different. You might be coming out of the trunk. You might be uh, 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 in an SUV. Or you might be in a truck. All these different applications, different size cameras are gonna affect what's gonna happen on the meter. Now, this particular meter, everyone is accepted, uh, has accepted and say, hey, yeah, it's fairly accurate. It's all, I think, Point 0.1, maybe point 0.1 or point zero, zero 0.01 or something like this. It's very minuscule how much it may be off. But it, it's not saying the sub is better than another. It's just saying what it meters in that in that box or whatever box I'm putting inside my application. Now, when it comes to the 8s or 12s, I'm pretty much going to make the same size box, same volume. And I'll tell you if it's different. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to orientate it in a certain spot in my truck. It's not gonna be behind the seats. Probably when my seats folded down and the, the meter's gonna be on the dash, on the windshield. And it's an SCA meter, SSA APMX meter, which you can get for $400, $499 or $399 off Sound Solution Audio. I have the link in my video. So my friend let me borrow it his long time ago. A long time ago, and that's how I was being able to meter the sun, the uh, the kickers. Oh, that's nice. SSA thing. Well, I appreciate that, Aaron. Aaron Clinton on Sound Solution. I'm gonna have some Sound Solution subs on this channel as well. Just bringing you different brands. So this is the meter, and what you do with this meter. This is the uh, charging cable. Uh, okay, you can charge it. Charge it up inside your vehicle. And it's got an app, it's very easy. You take this and you mount on the windshield and then it's got an app that hooked up to your phone, whether you have an Apple or Android. And it'll give you a metering reading on whatever the SPL is being generated in your vehicle. So it's just a quantification way of uh, for measurement. To me, it really doesn't mean too much anything. That's why you only see me one day, one metering video. But some people are in the chase of numbers. And I tell you, guys, particularly, those of you who are not in competing, man, get your system to sound good for you, right? Don't worry about the metering score because that's just things that most people do on Facebook and most of them don't have a system. And most of the time it's just a guy's way of, of bashing and hassling and saying, hey, mine's better than yours. I'm just using it as a quantification, a unit of measurement. Hey, this sub did this in this position in my vehicle. Don't get in the chase of numbers.
please, I admonish you guys, unless you're competing, because then if that's what's your interest. But if you just SQL, get in the box for me, and you're not an SPL com com competitor, man, get what sounds good to you. Don't let because this person say he's doing this and he's louder and he's better than you. Man, sometimes, a lot of times people be lying, particularly on that damn Facebook. I, they lie like a motherfucker. And they spill a lot of erroneous information. And sometimes people on there just be following. Some people just be on there just be trolling. So, you understand why I got the media for our channel so we can test different subs in the... In my single eight box or uh, single twelve box, whatever I might have, just a way of quantification what this sub did in relation to another it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to do the same thing inside your vehicle. So Sound Solution Audio has the uh, meters back in stock. Uh, I have the link up in the video where you can purchase them. I don't know how many he got, or how long it's going to last, but that's that. Y'all see my APH motors? Yeah, a bass. I cut them out. Yeah, we finna do something. Be soon with these for me. <laughs> Yo, peace.